Hey everyone, this is just a quick bonus video. Don't worry, the next part of Sweet Home will be going up later today, but I wanted to take a quick time out to kind of celebrate my one year anniversary of posting videos up on YouTube. It's kind of hard to believe I've been putting up videos now for a year, but last October was when I started the original account. Now I know this one was started in April, but some stuff happened in April that I closed the old account that had nothing to do with YouTube, but and then I started up a new one a few days later. Um, but I want to thank every single person who's ever watched one of my videos. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. Special thanks to not only the people that, you know, have subscribed, but also mainly the people that had subscribed before and then came back after the account was, the, I deleted the original account and then started watching the videos again. Whether you're a fan of the Game Music Appreciation Theaters, the playthroughs, both, uh, thank you. Uh, whether you watch just one of my videos every once in a while or watch every single one of my videos, which is amazing. I can't believe someone would want to even put up with listening to me rant for hours on end about different games as I play through them. Uh, I know, you know, I don't have the greatest voice in the world. I'm the first one to admit that. I'm not kind of like a voice actor or a voiceover guy for movie trailers or anything like that. I know I can pretty much talk endlessly. Uh, on them with barely taking any breaths. I think I kind of take a little bit more now than I used to, kind of break it up a little bit more, but it doesn't really matter. I appreciate those who watch my videos and can put up with that for as, as long as I play through these games. And uh, continue wanting more and continue watching them, and every time I post a new video, uh, people that immediately uh, view the video. Now, I haven't been perfect with posting the full versions up on my website, True Gaming. I'm going to try to get better with that. Uh, Sweet Home will be definitely going up, so I know it's kind of hard to watch an RPG be played in like nine parts or whatever, but the full video, the full hour and like 40 minute video will be posted in full on True Gaming, so to watch that, and some of my other ones I still need to post up there that I will eventually get to. Uh, now I'm not really plugging the site, but I know some people have asked about some of my other videos or what games I have done and what games I haven't done without searching through playlists and stuff like that. But if you do go, uh, do go to True Gaming, uh, click on my individual page, and it has listed every single game I played, as well as it has the listings for the games that I'm going to be playing. For example, November's already been dedicated to the month of the Ninja, where I will be playing through all three Ninja Gaiden games on the NES. Um, for December, I, there's not enough games to kind of do like a festive holiday month full of games, so... I'm going to do something that, you know, brings out the kid in everyone. I'm doing Disney games. Capcom made some of the best Disney games ever made on the NES, and I'm going to be playing through them. DuckTales 1 and 2, Little Mermaid, Tailspin, um, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I'm going to try to get a bunch of them in there. I'm not sure exactly how many I'll be able to fit in that whole month, or how many I'll be able to get done, but I'm going to do a good amount of them. At least four Disney games will be played in the month of December, along with Game Music Appreciation Theaters for each of them because all of them have great soundtracks. Uh, same goes for game music for all the Ninja Gaiden games as well. While we're on the whole subject of what I'm going to be doing in the future, I might as well just kind of give a little heads up about what my plans are for the, the next whole year of doing videos. I know it's kind of hard to preview a year, considering it is YouTube and anything is possible and can happen, and who knows if I'll still be doing videos in a year, but I hope I am. Um, I plan to do Metroid on the NES, uh, there's going to be another whole month of Mega Man. March will be another month of Mega Man, where I will be doing five Mega Man 5, Mega Man 6, and as of right now, I'm doing Mega Man 7 on the SNES, which will probably be the first SNES game I do. So don't expect uh, any SNES games really before that, but Mega Man 7 will probably be the first SNES game I can do. Uh, if I can capture a decent PlayStation emulator, uh, I will do a run of Mega Man 8. If not, I will substitute it with uh, either the Mega Man Game Boy games, uh, the Mega Man, maybe Mega Man Soccer, or one of the other countless Mega Man games that they've made over the years for the other systems. Uh, I don't plan to do X or anything, though. I plan to save them for the next year's March of Mega Man, if there is one after that. I know it's kind of hard to say way off there two years from now, but that is the current plan for my videos. I also have a, a list of some games that have been requested over time. So I will start trying to get to them. Over the next year, I uh, plan to uh, include uh, Sega Master System games, Sega Game Gear games, and Sega Genesis games. So you can expect me to probably run through the Sonic the Hedgehog games at some point. Maybe next September will be a month of Sonic games. 
I don't know, I kind of like doing month themed months as a way to kind of get certain games done at like one time without kind of spreading them out. So that's the, the current plan for the next year, and there's going to be a ton more games other than those mentioned, but at least that's the current plan. I am hoping also to buy much better equipment. I've been using the same mic for a long time now. Like, not for the... I had a mic for the first couple videos I did, which wasn't very good at all. And I've been using the same mic since then, and this mic is not great by far. I'm hoping to pick up a really good mic around the holidays. It's going to be a high-quality, you know, over $100 mic that I want to pick up, not just for my videos, but for some other stuff I want to do, so... Uh, hopefully that will at least help my voice sound somewhat better or somewhat clearer. I know there's been some problems with my voice doesn't sound as clear. I mean, it's annoying as heck anyway, but to not have it perfect uh, can be even more annoying. Um, also, if you've never seen my original video, the, the the parody of it or whatever you want to call of it that the other, you know, the account. You've, you've, if you follow the Let's Play community, you know the other account I'm talking about. Uh, it's still up there, and it still makes me laugh. It's very, it was very funny parody of you know making fun of my first video I ever did. If you just search my name, you'll find it immediately. Uh, it, it's very funny, I, like I've always said, because it's, most of what they say in it, it's pretty true, other than a few things that weren't really that funny. But for the most part, their videos are funny, and uh, I don't agree ever with making fun of somebody. But when it comes to making fun of myself, you know. Please, go ahead. It, it doesn't bother me. It rolls right off. Because this is YouTube, for God's sake. People shouldn't take the internet so seriously. But So I am plugging that, that horrible video. Uh, it is up in full form uh, on that other account. Just search my name, you'll find it. Uh, it's a good thing to look at, especially if you've been watching my videos for a long time. You can not only see how bad my first video was, uh, but get a good laugh out of it too, because it is funny. I actually ended up having a catchphrase kind of out of it, which makes me laugh still. But anyway, besides all that, I um I think I found kind of my niche with these videos. I kind of have like the steady steady stream of commentary, the way I say certain things and whatever. And what I mean by that is I'm not ranting and raving for hours on end, like complaining about the game. I think I do high quality videos, or at least as high quality as I can produce on my computer, um, with decent commentary as best as I pretty much can give. Uh, also, the best in terms of gameplay. I know there's a, a lot of people do videos, and there's a difference between my videos and the original concept of what I was told about Let's Plays, which was basically someone playing a game for the first time. Uh, when I was told about it, I just just told it was somebody playing a game commentating over it. So that's when I, when I found out that aspect, I renamed my series, not only to stand out amongst the hundreds of people doing Let's Plays, but also because... I'm not playing these games for the first time. I put a lot of practice and effort into my videos. Uh, some of my videos I've worked on the games for months. You know, I, I play a lot of games besides just the ones I play for these videos, and I do a lot of other stuff other than sit here and make videos for YouTube. But when I'm gonna make a video, when I decide to make it, for example, Ninja Gaiden's coming up, or Ninja Gaiden, whatever you want to say, uh, I've been working on those videos for a few months now. I started working on them back in July. Like, when I get bored or get some extra time, sit down and I do a, try to do a play of the game. I learn about the game as much as I can. I learn how enemy placement works. I learn how, like, the random spawn points work in the games. Learn how to use the controls. Figure out if there's a way to manipulate certain things. What I can and cannot do in terms of jumps and, and certain hits with enemies. I try to learn the game as best as possible before sitting down and playing through it and talking mindlessly about it. And I still make a lot of mistakes. I'm not perfect by far. I made a couple of really big mistakes in my Simon's Quest video. Now, granted, a couple of those mistakes is because I had to rush the commentary on it because I did it once perfectly, but then there was an error with the encoding process and like an idiot, I had to delete the source files. So I had to redo the entire Simon's Quest video a day before it was supposed to be put up on YouTube. So... That one wasn't perfect, but I do make mistakes. I'm not a complete expert on a lot of these games. I can only be as much of an expert as I can be while playing through them when I'm playing. So there's some glitches and some other stuff I don't even remember, or I don't end up doing because uh, I didn't find it necessary or it didn't help me beat the game as quick as possible. And that's another thing. I try to beat these games as fast as humanly possible. I'm not a speedrunner. I'm not trying to cut off all the seconds. But I don't think it's fun to watch someone play the same level over and over again because they constantly keep dying. 
or you know unless it's done to be comedic then it's so you know then it's different and I also don't think it's cool to just sit there and like fight the same enemies over and over again and show it uh, especially for my sweet home run that's why I excluded all the training footage and stuff so I try to make my videos as quick as they as they can be don't t you know don't waste a lot of people's time if you want to watch my videos watch the video you see the whole gameplay you can play along with it, it can help you out I think I know a few people have commented that's helped them walk through certain games, which, that's great. So thanks to every single person who's ever watched my videos. Whether you love them, whether you hate them, whether you make fun of them, it doesn't matter. Thanks for clicking, thanks for watching. I hope you continue to watch them uh, throughout the whole next year. Also, click on the link to my other account. I was inspired by Super Darky to start posting my favorite video game music, so I'm doing that on a daily now, just for an extra little thing. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video, and of course, I hope you enjoy.